you know, one of the biggest things I took away from my sales training when I was young was people don't like to be sold to. Um, so you've got to identify the need um, and, you know, um, and, and sell to the need rather than just saying you need travel insurance or something like that. Um, and I was always very much the relationship seller. Not I, I couldn't do the the kind of the the hard sell. I um some people were just natural at it. I, I I wasn't. I always had to labor and work hard to try and hit my sales targets. Whereas other people, it you know, that it just came naturally to them. Hence I went into accountancy. Um, but in the where I'm at now, it is very much that that world of using some of those skills. So understanding. Um, when I'm speaking to a, a client or a prospect, understand what do they need rather than forcing on them what I want to give them. It, it's using that. How can I help you? Why are we here today? What, um, and only well, once you've got through that, that, that process and you understand what they need, do you then kind of impart maybe what you need? But the great thing about evangelism in my mind is I actually don't need anything. So it's the, it's my sales team who need something now, and I I think you almost have to create that 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 Chinese wall in your brain. Yes, we need the sale as a business, but I don't have sales targets. I don't personally need that sale. We have lots of salespeople in this business. The reason this customer is speaking to me isn't because I'm a salesperson. So for me, recognizing that, being able to you know, not be naive, but also not let it affect how you're going to conduct yourself. Uh, and again, I think that comes back to that trust we've talked about and the business recognizing Mark, when he's speaking to a prospect, is going to say different things to what our sales team are going to say. And sometimes that is tough, especially for your sales leadership. You know, at times I think, guys, you put, you know, put your earmuffs on, you know, because I'm going to answer this question. But I think it adds so much credibility to a sales process. 